American truck buyers have been saying it for years. You want a full-size share of the market? Well, come to the market with a full-size pickup truck. Apparently, Toyota got the message. The new Tundra is no longer a 9 tenths scale Chevy Silverado. In fact, it's bigger, bolder, more innovative, and it's made in America. Make no mistake, this is a full frontal assault on the domestic truck market. Toyota did not create this mammoth truck so that it could compete with the big guys. They built the Tundra with the intention to dominate them. To do that, they needed to make the Tundra bigger, and boy, did they ever. The new Tundra is 10 inches longer, 5 inches higher, and 4 inches wider than before. Standard with a 6.5 foot bed, the total length of this double cab model measures in at an impressive 19 feet. Not big enough, you say? Well, Toyota has also created a long bed version of the Tundra that measures 19 inches longer with an 8 foot 1 inch bed. So it's probably big enough. But is it strong enough? Toyota has tackled this issue by offering the Tundra with three capable engines. A 4 liter V6, the proven 4.7 liter iForce V8, and an all new 5.7 liter iForce V8 which Toyota claims be able to tow up to 10,800 pounds and handle a payload of up to 2,060 pounds. To handle that kind of cargo, the Tundra will also come equipped with heavy-duty front disc brakes, standard rear disc brakes, and high-capacity cooling and electrical systems. They've also made it easy to keep an eye on your load with clever telescopic rear-view mirrors. Another cool thing about the Tundra is the tailgate. Not only does it have an integrated backup camera, but check this out. Open up the tailgate and let it fall. Dampened tailgates. That's great. And it makes life easy when you've got to put something in the back of this 22 inch deep truck bed. With these types of features, the Tundra should be able to handle whatever you throw at it. In fact, Toyota has gone beyond creating a simple load hauling monster and has really put some thought into making the Tundra an effective work truck. By adding extra hip and shoulder space, Two row Tundra models offer plenty of room for a six man crew, and oversized door handles and climate controls allow workers to ride to the next work site without removing their safety gloves. Toyota also designed the Tundra to serve as a mobile work office, and <laughs> it's bigger than my cubicle. Check it out. Open up the center console, pull out your laptop, pull out that folder you've been working on from the hanging file folders inside the center console, close the door and you've got yourself a very comfortable workspace. And, as an added bonus, open up the top glove box and a standard thermos fits inside. We got behind the wheel of the Tundra to see how this big rig performs, you know. Storage bins and innovation is really cool, but it's got to perform on the road. Here's what we found out. The powertrain is nice. That six-speed automatic transmission with the 5.8 liter V8 engine, smooth, smooth combination. Like it a lot. Visibility is excellent. There's no problem seeing around this vehicle. You've got a huge big front windshield. The A pillars are small from the inside. You've got big rear view mirrors that, that, that show everything and show a split view too, by the way. And in fact, if you're towing something, the rear view camera will show you where the truck is in relation to the uh, the hitch, which is great. Brakes, eh, a little iffy, and some of the gauges are hard to see. Biggest problem though, biggest weak spot, is the jounciness of the ride. Part of the reason for that probably is that Toyota wants this truck to be the kind of truck that ranchers and the, the, the guys that really need all this capability are going to buy. So it's going to tow better than most and it's going to perform better than most. However, when it comes to the chassis, towing 10,800 pounds with the kind of payload that the Tundra has, well that means that you probably have to sacrifice a little bit of road uh, uh, ride quality. And, and I don't know if I like that payoff because, you know, for, for the vast majority of people who buy these trucks, you know, they, they want the capacity but they also want to feel like as though they're not on a carnival ride when they drive down the road. That's important, but 
Overall, from the engine to the transmission to the way it feels when you're behind the wheel, great job. So that's it for the Tundra. As you can see, to say that it's bigger and more powerful is, well, obviously an understatement. The real question is whether or not it does the things that a true full-size truck must do. You know, tow and haul and carry its passengers in style and comfort. After a day spent driving it, we say the answer to that is yes, and that it does a whole lot more. For CAR-TV, I'm Brian Chi. We'll see you again next time.